Great. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Fine and Performing Arts Theatre at International School Manila. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to you the first of three concerts in our end of semester one concert season. Uh, we have up one of the most amazing things that happens all year because it's a collaboration between the three schools working together. We have our ES, um, ISM Sing, working with our middle school choir students and our high school students together. So it is an amazingly wonderful wonderful show you're about to see. Uh, the reason we have the concert series is so that you can get a sense of the vertical articulation as a teacher speak for showing you what it's like to start in choir and where you can go in ISM with choir. So we're really, really proud of the program we have here and we can hope you can appreciate how amazing the students are at all levels but the journey that they're going to take while they're here at ISM. Uh, before I, I introduce the choir and the head of uh, music in middle school and high school, I'm just going to give you an update on what's happening in the arts scene at ISM. Um, so there's so much going on. As you walked on in, we have the first ever high school uh, student art show. What that means is that the students have made that work outside of class and they've put that together. So our VAC club and our um, National Arts Honor Society have collaborated with other students from around the high school and put that together. That's also a test for our brand new art boards. You'll notice that the black ones aren't there at the moment. We're testing out. That's the first half of our new set of art boards that are there. It's very exciting direct from Germany with those. Uh, and further on, we have the middle school and high school art show is opening next week on the 21st. If you would like to attend the opening, it is at 3 p.m. Otherwise, you can see the art when you come in to see the Strings concert, which is on Tuesday the 21st as well, here at 5.30 p.m. The third in the concert series is the band, and that is on Wednesday the 29th, so please come along to that as well and celebrate the growth in the band program for the middle school and the high school. And then uh, we finish off the semester with um, Villa Pinana on the 1st, which is a wonderful celebration across the whole school. And then we have our wonderful grade 2 music team putting their concert on here on December 7th. So, so there is a lot going on in the arts program. One last plug I'll make is that it is IASA season in the high school for arts. We have been uh, naming our art groups um, over the last couple of weeks. And then we'll start our push for housing because um, we are hosting Dance Drama Tech in March, and so we'll need to house those students. So please keep that in mind as you're thinking and looking into semester two. Right, I'm going to stop speaking now. I hope you get a good sense that there's lots going on at ISM, but tonight it is all about our choir, and I'd like to introduce you to Anne Provincia, our program leader in middle and high school. Good evening and welcome. We have a great night of music for you tonight. Um, the theme for our concert is really songs that make you go, <sighs> and you can't really put that into words. Um, we've tossed around words like it's the serotonin concert, it's the dopamine concert, it's the happy chemical concert. But these should be songs, some you may well recognize, um, some might be new to you, but hopefully all of them uh, leave you with just this, this sense of hope and happiness and satisfaction at the end. So we are going to begin with a traditional song from South Africa, and it is a song that uh, has become their second national anthem, and it is a song to quote uh, Miss Sarah Tudge, who's in our high school faculty. She says, it's a song that when times get tough, you sing it and you realize you keep moving forward. And it has become a song of celebration as well in South Africa. So I give you Shoshaloza. Oh! 
We now have a few minutes of reshuffling children, and I will hand it over to Ms. Lodi, who directs our ISM Sing. Good evening, everyone. We are thrilled to be back here for the first time since pre-pandemic. Yay! We started ISM Sing up again second semester last year, so we missed this event, but we are, we are really excited to be back here. This is a group of third and fourth graders that meet one time a week after school, and they've been dedicated since we started. It was, what, end of August, beginning of September, and they've worked really hard. We're going to start with a song from Australia called Enjoy the Storm that was, in retrospect, written to recognize some of the global warming issues, flooding that had happened in Australia, the tough times people went through, but also to understand there's beauty in nature. It was, it was the, I believe the funds from it went toward uh, helping with flood recovery. So anyway, we'll start with Enjoy the, so Enjoy the Storm. And our second song, we'll go straight into it, is called Oye, which is by a really hot composer um, on the choral circuit. His name is Jim Papoulis. And, this song, he does songwriting workshops with youth in underprivileged, un underdeveloped economic areas around the world. And he was in Mexico and worked with some students. And one of the questions he asked them was, if you had a message, what would you want to say to the world? And they said, listen to us. Oye. We wish people could hear us. And that, that's where the inspiration for the rest of the song came from. We'll be joined by a wonderful Latin percussion ensemble. Thank you to our entire elementary music team, which you'll, you'll see up here. Robbie Smith and Maria Hopkins, Nadia Pitoy, Marvin Solomon, and Sammy Garland. And I'd like to just take a second to recognize Chi Ying Hung, parent, volunteer pianist who's been with us for years. So, we'll do that. but. I'm ready, I don't know about you guys, for the most exciting part. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, oye? Now we're gonna start with Enjoy the Storm, but can they hear us? Here we go.
Wow, let's have another round of applause for ISM Sync. We are gonna move into the middle school now uh, with the grade five chorus. And I said, uh, I told my grade five, I said, you know what guys, ISM Sync is gonna be awesome. And then we have to follow that. And they were like, oh no. And I said, but listen, you guys are 20 people and they're a million, million and a half, maybe something like that. Yeah, 80. So uh, we may be small, but we are mighty up here. And we have, Um, so grade five has one song to sing for you today by themselves and then you're going to see them a little bit later. We're going to sing Bella Musica for you and it's just about the joy of music and how awesome it is. I do have one request. Um, I know a lot of parents are anxious to get a video of your kid and I understand that. Um, we are professionally recording this and it will be put onto YouTube. Um, I do ask that if you still insist on using your own phone to record, please hold it down um, at like neck height, because if you do this, you're blocking the people behind you. So let's be considerate of everybody and just hold our phones down if you're going to be doing that, okay? So I give you grade five and Bella Musica. Don't worry, this is not the last you've seen of them, but now we're welcoming grade six onto the stage. So grade five and grade six, um, we meet twice a week as part of their regular school schedule. Um, and 
we spend an awful lot of time talking about singing voices and learning how to sing together and matching our voices and blending our voices together. And then we also start talking about singing in harmony, um, which is a, really difficult to do the smaller the group is. So in our grade six, you'll hopefully hear some harmony as well as some beautifully blended voices. I'm going to take a moment to highlight our amazing, wonderful accompanists this evening. Uh, you've met Ms. Chi Ying, who is a parent and a volunteer. And we also have Mr. JC Hoya, who is um, our strings teacher, but also a volunteer um, accompanist.
so we told you they'd be back. Grade five coming back on stage. And we have a combined grade five and six number for you. You might know the song, Pharrell Williams, Happy. We also welcome um, our, one of our wonderful high school percussionists, Shreyas. Hopefully he's back there and is ready to come on stage to play the drums. and Ulysses on the tambourine. So moving up, we now have the grades seven and eight coming out in, uh, they, they practice together three times a week, so they make up one chorus in grades seven and eight. And this will be, uh, this, this marks where we actually start having soprano, alto, and baritone harmonies. So you'll be hearing three and four part harmonies as we go through tonight in our music. We have two pieces to sing for you. One is um, from Tarzan. You'll Be In My Heart. It's one of those songs that I've always loved. And the second one is called Sing For Joy. 
and it's by Handel, and it's the same Handel who wrote the Hallelujah Chorus. So we're going back a couple hundred years, um, which you wouldn't think that seventh and eighth graders would really want to sing a song that's a couple hundred years old, but they rocked it. They will rock it. They have rocked it, and they will again.
Thank you, grade seven and eight. All right, our next group, we are going to move into high school with our concert choir. And concert choir, also, it meets three times a week and it is a non-auditioned group, so anybody who wants to sing is welcome and, um, you know, the more the merrier to come and sing with us in concert choir. We have students in grades nine, 10, and 11 as part of this wonderful and amazing group. We have three songs for you tonight uh, from a variety of historical periods and styles, and I hope that you enjoy every one of them.
there was a very important point I wanted to point out about tonight, and I forgot to do it earlier, but this song reminded me. Um, one of, this is a debut of sorts for something on this stage, and that is our beautiful piano. This is a brand new piano purchased for us. And knowing that this was going to be the first formal concert in which this was featured, I made sure, I made an effort to choose some music that did show off our piano playing skills. So thank you very much for the piano, and also thank you very much for playing it so skillfully for both of you. So this is a point in the, uh, in the program where I just hope that show choir is where they're supposed to be right now, because I have no way of knowing. So it's going to be as much a surprise for me as it is for you. Um, show choir is our auditioned group. It is 16 singers. And this year we have singers from grades 9, 10, 11, and 12. We have three songs for you tonight. Two of them are a cappella, and then the final one is another one with a beautiful accompaniment. I want to give you a little bit of warning for the third one. It, you're going to think it's over and it's not. So don't clap. 
I, I, I will, I mean, I'll have my back to you, but you'll see, and I'll be like this. Don't clap, don't clap, don't clap until you see me like, <sighs> okay. All right, thanks. Without...
We have come to the final number of the night, and it involves bringing a few people on stage. So um, bear with us as we go through one of our great migrations. Um, and I, I do want to say that this um, song, feel free to stand up and dance. You'll know when it's time to. All right. So to the stage, please. So as we have this great shift, I'd like to take the opportunity. So guys, I'm going to talk. Can we be shh? Shh. I'm going to take the opportunity to just say a few thank yous. Um, it takes a village. It truly does. Just this evening, there were no fewer than 20 adults and other high school student non-singers who helped make tonight possible. So can we have a wonderful round of applause for all those people? We have our pianists, we have our percussionists, we have our bass players, we have our page turners, we have our teachers who are helping tell the kids where to go and you know, telling them when they're supposed to be standing up and sitting down. Um, we have everybody in the booth making sure that we get recorded and lit and that you can hear me. So it really, I appreciate, and I'm speaking for Miss Lodi as well, we, we, you see a lot of us, but there's so many people behind the scenes that without which we could not do this. So. My last thank you is to the people in the audience. Because of your support, supporting your person on stage, um, it, it, it has, it has it's, it's so pre precious, it has no value. Uh, it, it's, it's priceless, the support that you give uh, to enable your person to be able to express themselves here. So thank you. Without further ado, can't stop the feeling. Feel free to dance. <laughs> <laughs> 